Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade concept of volume. This is standard 7.9a in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 9 of the Redesign Practice Online Star Test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have a pyramid here, square base, side length of seven centimeters, volume is 196 cubic centimeters, so I need to find the height. Well, what do we know about volume of a pyramid? Let's check our references chart here, because they actually are gonna give us a little bit that we can actually use. And as you can see, right at the very bottom, you see pyramid volume. So the volume equals one third base times height. That is my equation or formula for volume, one third base times height. So let's draw a picture here. Let's open up our graph draw feature. All right, so we've got a square based pyramid. So I'm going to attempt to draw one for you here so we can at least visualize it. So I'm gonna put some dots for the back ones just because I know that I'm gonna to want to hide some. So I'm just going to try to show you which of the lines are going to be dotted. Those are the ones that are kind of hidden in the back. And there we go. So it's not perfect, but let's pretend that it's a square-based pyramid. What do I know about this? Well, I know that it is a square. Each side length is 7. So 7cm, 7cm. And I also know the volume is 196. Okay, so V equals 196 cubic centimeters. That's CM with a little 3. And I'm looking for the height. Okay, so the height is going to be another dotted line. And it usually comes down from uh, the very top there. And it comes down to the middle of the base, and it's got this little this little right angle here to show you that it's, uh, it's a theoretical... A straight line down, it's perpendicular, forms a right angle uh, from that apex up there, and that's my h, that's my height, okay? So that's all we're looking for. So what do we know about volume? Remember, we said volume equals 196, right? But we also know that volume equals, let's make that cubed here, volume equals at one-third base times height. Well, if volume equals 196, and volume also equals one-third base times height. I'm just going to substitute in this for this. I'm going to say 196 cubic centimeters equals one-third base times height. All right. So uh, what can I do first? Well, if I multiply both sides by three, watch what that's going to do. That's going to get rid of this one-third. It's because three times one-third is three over three. So that's going to cancel itself out because three, watch this, three times one-third equals three over three, which equals one. So that effectively gets rid of that. So I need to get that 196. Let's see what that 196 times three is. That's 18, 27, 28. 588. Okay, so 588. I'll drop the cubic centimeters because we're just looking for a number here. Equals base times height. Well, I don't know what the height is, but you know what? I can figure out what the base is. Look at this base. From the base, we're looking, we're looking at the area of this base. So what is the area of this base? Well, it's a square, right? So um, that equals that base times height, and that base is just going to be 7 times 7 times height, right? Well, 7 times 7, well, that's going to be 49, okay? So 588, I've replaced that base with 49 times the height, all right? So if I divide both sides by 49, I should get my height. What in the world is 49 into 588? No idea. Let's see, 588, 49 goes into 58 once. Hmm. Okay, well, 98, oh, that's pretty easy. It goes in twice. So there we go. My answer is B, 12.